One of the most common questions people have as they approach age 65 is, do I have to elect Medicare? And rightfully so. As you approach age 65, you are being inundated with mail, all kinds of mail, telling you that if you don't elect Medicare at age 65, you will have a Part B penalty. So what's the answer? If you are approaching age 65 and you're already retired, either on a COBRA health insurance plan or a plan offered through the marketplace, then these plans are no longer considered qualified once you become Medicare eligible. So yes, you would need to elect Medicare A and B when you turn age 65. And you have a seven month window to do so. This is called your initial enrollment period and it begins three months prior to the month of your birth date and ends three months after your birth date. Now, if you're one of those people who are born on the first day of the month, keep in mind that your Medicare start date will actually be the first day of the previous month. If you're approaching age 65 and you're still working or your spouse is still working and you are covered under an employer group health plan, then you might not have to elect Medicare at age 65 as long as there are more than 20 employees at this place of business. At that point, your employer group health plan is considered qualified coverage under Medicare. However, if there are fewer than 20 employees at your place of business, have a discussion with the owner or your human resources department to make sure that the plan you are on is Medicare eligible. Now let's say you plan on retiring at age 67 or 72, a number of years down the road. At that separation of service, you would then enter into a special enrollment period, which is eight months long to elect Medicare Part A and B to avoid that Part B penalty. Now keep in mind, you do not have to elect Medicare A and B at the same time. As long as you or your spouse have worked the qualified number of quarters, Medicare A is already been paid for and there is no cost to you moving forward. So it could come into play as a great secondary supplemental insurance. And you can elect Medicare Part A at any point once you are Medicare eligible. Now, once you have elected Medicare Part A and or B, you will receive your Medicare beneficiary card in the mail. Now, keep an eye out for it because it is actually coming from Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, not from the Social Security Office. Subscribe for more information and take advantage of our complimentary 15-minute retirement checkup call.